currently I'm at a Kevin Zedai conference in Concord, North Carolina, and um, I wanted to share just a quick word as as I was um, praying and uh, just having like basically a soaking time, and the Lord just quickly dropped uh, this essentially like a spiritual nugget that um, you know in the Word of God where it says like when someone strikes you on basically on the cheek on the face you offer the other side as well but what the lord was saying is that 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 truth is not applicable to the enemy and when i say the enemy it's not your 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 loud neighbor it is satan it is basically the accuser of the brethren the accuser of, of, of the faith, the one who hates you. So whenever you start getting hit, and this is something that I've been on this journey where I've got this um, nexus on the back of my neck that's really been a bit of a, tr a trial for me. Um, and I've had a lot of struggles to uh, go through. And what I'm doing right now is exactly what Satan doesn't want, is for me to stay on the camera, to keep prophesying, to keep speaking truth, even when the unexpected health issue happens. As my, as my, my mother would say that this is a distraction. And even though this, this uh, cyst may need surgery, I'm asking for all my Christian uh, brothers and sisters in Christ to uh, pray for me because I'm asking for a miraculous healing so that this can be removed supernaturally. There'll be no surgery because that's going to incur a health cost. These are just real things that happen to people. So, again, I'm out here saying just an encouragement that when the devil hits you, don't offer the other cheek. You fight back, you hit him back. You get back to praying. You get back to praying in the spirit. You get back to prophesying. You get back to, uh, you keep going to church with a smile on your face. You keep praising the Lord. The Lord's going to uh, help you through this. And then as the word says that, at, that all the things we go through, you know, it, it God's able to turn around for our good. Not that God, I don't believe God gave me this. 100% God did not do this. I live, you know, we, I live in a fallen world. And things happen. And things happen that we don't want. And I've noticed that things have happened to people that are what I would consider on a higher caliber uh, level of faith and righteousness and uh, faithfulness to the Lord. And they've gone to the hospital. They've gone through these uh, just really bad health trials god has pulled them out of it which i believe god's going to pull me out of this i know this is nothing compared to what maybe some of you might be going through but i'm saying hit the devil back in his face and say don't you ever slap me in the face you keep punching back and hitting back at the devil and one of those ways is by continually faithfully on that road on that track that the lord has placed you on so like I said before, keep prophesying, keep blessing people, keep giving, keep praying, keep interceding. Whatever the Lord has placed in front of you to do, do that. Because these bumps in the road, the devil is trying to detract us and stop us and silence us and shut us up. So I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm saying all of this in this unedited video to shut the devil up because now I'm going to come back more and more pray for me because i want to be more consistent as the lord has convicted me to be to speak out truth and to encourage the body as um one in the in the fivefold one of my duties one of my jobs is to build up the body of christ and i want to be faithful to that so pray for me in that calling if you need prayer put it in the comments i will pray for you and let's go after what the Lord has placed uh, uh, ahead of us. And let's push through the devil. Push him down. Kick him while he's down. 
he's not one deserving of mercy. I love you all. Have a good night.